You're watching Zach Pack TV. Hey guys, I'm working on my 25 or C5 2500 Chevrolet Silverado. It's a 94. It's the one I drug home. I did a video about me picking up some junk cars. If you didn't watch that, check it out. But today I'm working on it. I got it in the pole barn. I've located the problem and I'm going to share with you and the process of how I'm going to do this and hopefully we succeed. But so when I got this truck, the lady informed me that her husband was changing the spark plugs and one snapped off in there. So I didn't know the severity of it. I didn't really have a good way of looking down there in a mirror and stuff of that nature. But I got in here, I got checked out and what it appears to be is the spark plug itself, I would call it like the igniter part. You know, you have, I pretty much have these threads and this piece of metal that's been over stuck in the motor block. The rest is just snapped off. It looks like it rusted, right? Like maybe even here around the nut, somewhere in here it rusted and just completely broke off. So I can see through the hole is bigger than this spark plug, obviously. This is like a little baby one, but I can see all the way through that spark plug and I can see the the piece of metal here that's bent over. I've already soaked it with some penetrating oil. It's actually been like that for five days and I went ahead and soaked it again. So it's gonna be nice and soaked with penetrating oil. I try to get a visual for you guys, but here's my mirror and I got it bent. And that is the piece that's broken off in there. So that that extractor bit should go right in there. I know it's really hard to see. That's the best I can do for you while I'm holding the camera and putting the light in there. But that's what I'm working with. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use. I might try to use some heat. I got a pocket torch and but my little tank ran out. So if I can hook it up to my big tank, I'm actually gonna throw some heat on it, but I'm gonna run a Napa and see if I can get that in. An actual pocket torch that I've used on my 7.3 Power Stroke T30 head to extract it or to loose, heat it up and loosen it so it didn't strip out. And that's what I'm thinking with this, this is all rusty and crusty. So hopefully I don't burn down the place by doing this since I've soaked it in penetrating oil. But I'm gonna have a fire extinguisher and a bucket of water. Okay, so I got my setup here. I got the drill bit in there and I hit it, beat it in with a hammer to get it started, tapped it in and, or take whatever you can just to tap it in there good. I got my three eighths, it's a very short three eighths extension drive on the end of that. And this is 11, millimeter socket i'm gonna put the link or a leak link in the description of the um, extractor set i use so you guys know what i'm using and what i'm doing is using a breaker bar from my jack my car jack it's just the pipe anything will work that'll go over that to spin my extractor so i'm gonna keep doing this i got a lot of rotations if you know how to, if you've ever put in a spark plug, you know it, it takes a few cranks with a ratchet just to get it in. So I'm gonna be here for a minute doing this. All right, I've been here for what feels like forever and I can finally start to turn it with my hand. So I know I'm getting there, I'm getting pretty close. Um, I'll give you an update when I get it out. Just take your time because you don't want to snap that extractor off in there because then you're pretty much SOL. Well, she is out. So I want to show you guys what I was dealing with. So you know, um, I was trying to explain it to you. I didn't know if you guys were understanding or not. But here's my setup. Believe it or not, a size 11 metric wrench, a 3/8 short stubby drive, 
and my what was this set called oh it was a tool shop extractor set so this is what it should look like in the pack if you guys have a similar situation going on sorry i try to make it look like it would in the picture online if you were searching but it would look like that i use the biggest one i think that would be the three quarter inch or no that's the nine sixteenth with the maybe saying the three quarter inch handle if i'm not mistaken because there's only five of them yeah that would have to be how it is is the shank size Okay, well, whatever. Use the largest one. So this was a tool shop brand. I got it at my local Menards. So if you have uh, a, a, a store that carries tool shop, they should be able to get them. But yeah, so now I got to get that off my tool, but that's the least of my worries now. This was only like five bucks for that set and it was well worth it. I tried another set. It was similar. See, I'm probably not gonna have it on me. I think I put it. Let's see where I put it here. Oh, yeah. So I tried out this Warrior brand I had from Harbor Freight, which I don't think they carry anymore. So this fit in there, but I wasn't able to attach anything and make that work. A, I think a half inch, or no, it was a, was it a half inch? Yeah, half inch drive actually fit on there, but I, I couldn't get a, a wrench on it or anything that was going to work right. So I think it having a bigger head on it as well didn't allow it to get a good start in there. I think I was only getting the tip in. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny, but I was only getting the tip in. And on this one, I was getting much more than the tip in from the start. So I think that really helped me and the threads were different. So it looked like a, it kind of looks like a corkscrew thread. And this one is, I don't know, an ex, a different kind of extractor thread. It's wider gap. So maybe, maybe the closer threads helped me. But yeah, I ran the drill. What I first did was I hooked this up and I put, I didn't get to show you guys cause I couldn't hold it, but I put this, actually no, I put this into my drill like this. So I had it clamped in there and I was actually able to get it in there and get it started. And what I, what ended up happening to me is maybe it was a good thing cause I might've broke this thing off or whatever, but it's turned for a minute, like a split second. And then my drill started smoking. It couldn't, I mean, this is a pretty powerful drill. Too. So the drill, if you have a hammer feature, I don't know, that might work too, like as far as getting it loose. But once I got, once it bit down, the drill bit down a little bit and then it started smoking, I was like, okay, it's in there. Good, I'm gonna try rigging something up. So this is what I rigged up. I even went to Napa and they didn't have anything. So I ended up going to Harbor Freight. They were all out of stock. I went to Menards and they had very minimal stock of stuff like this, but this worked guys. So if you have a similar situation, I highly recommend doing it this route. The, the, the odds of this are breaking are pretty slim. I mean, this is a pretty stout piece of metal. So you'd have to be really doing some serious uh, force and stuff of that nature. And that, this is gonna give before you break this. So you wanna make sure I don't think this would have went through the thread or through this metal because this is pretty tough metal what the spark plug is made out of and yeah you're going to need some sort of uh breaker bar and what i ended up doing was i'd have to like rotate this i'd pull this off rotate it i'd move my wrench and and re-rotate it and get some leverage on it and just keep working it and man it came out just fine so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and now I get to take out the rest of the spark plugs. Well, I might, this is what I might do. I might heat the truck up. I might get it running. I might pop that spark plug in a, a brand new one. Go ahead and get a whole set. I'll pop it in and I'm going to heat that motor up 
because I think a hot motor is better and I'm gonna penetrate all those those spark plugs and I think they're gonna come out no problem. So that is my plan. I hope this guy this video helped you guys out. Stay tuned for my next ones. Please subscribe. Um, I do all kinds of uh, odd jobs and stuff of that nature. Uh, I even get into like rustic stuff that I post for my videos. So they're all over the place. But uh, yeah, if, if you don't mind, take a minute and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And tune in next time.